Here is how you can heal and release your depression for good. You're not stuck in this place. You're, you're literally how you're feeling is a result of the frequency you're on, how you're thinking, how you're acting is just a result of the frequency you're on. You can raise your vibration. You can get to a really high frequency. It doesn't have to take a long time or a lot of effort. And here's how to do it. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary. I'm a manifestation coach. And if you like this content, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to work together, that information's in the description box below, as well as the links to my comedy channel and my meditation channel. You are not your thoughts, okay? That is the biggest message I wanna give you, is you are not your thoughts. And especially when you're in an emotion, say you're in depression, or powerlessness, or helplessness, or misery. When you're in that emotion, you think and feel and believe and act within the bounds of that emotion, right? You can usually go a little bit above, a little bit below, right? But your, your, your actions, your results are within the bounds of that emotion. So that's why things don't really shift and change. And that's why when you're feeling really low, you, you struggle to believe in what you want. You struggle to think positively because the positive thoughts are up here and you're down here, right? And so we need to kind of take baby steps to get up here, but it doesn't, it can happen in two weeks, right? You can go from really low vibe to really high vibe um, within two weeks or within a month. Now I have had clinical depression a couple of times and I've also had, you know, bad anxiety. And so I understand Right, And so my message is that you are not your thoughts. The thoughts that come to you are a result of the emotion that you are in, in the moment. The result, the thoughts that come to you are a result of the, the frequency that you're on. That's why when you're feeling really, really great, you got all these positive thoughts and ideas and you take the actions and you do this and you do that. And then you feel low and you're like, I don't want to do anything and I hate this and the, all these negative thoughts, oh, I hate myself and I'm a loser and like all this stuff comes in, right? And it's not that it's true, right? The, it's not that those thoughts are you, it's a result of the frequency that you're on. Now, I will recommend upfront The Greatest Secret by Rhonda Byrne is a really powerful book to release the negative emotions and raise your vibration. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Basically, what we get wrong with, with you know being at a low frequency is that we try to jump to being super happy. We try to jump to feeling good and you can't make that jump, especially if you've been practicing thoughts on this low frequency for a while, that it's just more active. You know, it's just more practice, that's it. It's not a big deal. But they come more easily to you, right? Because you're more often there. And so it's really difficult to make that jump or to make that jump and to stay there. And so what I would encourage you to do initially is make your goal to feel neutral. Make your goal to feel ease or relaxation. Just be neutral, that's your goal. Your goal is not joy right now because you will, you will struggle and then you will feel like you're not good at this, it's too hard, it's impossible because you set yourself an impossible goal. The first goal has to be that neutral state, okay? Anything you can do to, you know, the better feeling thoughts, practicing consistent better feeling thoughts to get you to that neutral place, right? When that becomes your norm, when you're more in the neutral place, then we can reach for the higher emotions and it's easier, it's easier to reach for hope, for uh, appreciation, joy, fun, love. It's, it's easier, right? Because you raise your vibration from down here, you got to the middle point, right? And then you can reach for higher. So go for neutral. Go for relaxation, ease and relief, right? Seriously, just anything that brings you ease, anything that brings you relief, whether it's a thought or an action, Anything that brings you um, more relaxation, more ease, that's what we're going for. Now, here's the crucial part. You don't want to push against how you're feeling. And this is what Rhonda Byrne talks about as well. 
whatever you resist will persist. So if you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I hate feeling this way. I need to try and feel better. Like, I just don't want to feel this way. I need to get away from these feelings. Oh, I hate these thoughts. Oh, so negative. I need to try and think positive. Like, how do I stop this? That's all resistance. And anything you give attention to will become more. So as you're giving attention to something that you don't want, because all you did right there, even though you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm thinking I want to be positive. You were just focused on what you didn't want. And that becomes more, right? What you resist will persist. So don't fight. When you're feeling low, the first thing you want to do is let it be okay. Don't like, it's not a big deal. It's a result of the frequency you're on. It's not permanent. It is temporary because all emotions pass through. All emotions are temporary. They come and they go and there's no difference here with that. Same with the thoughts, okay? All of this is temporary and you need to remind yourself of that. Don't push against, don't try to get away from it. Let it be okay. Like Eckhart Tolle says, full acceptance. Just accept it. Let it be what it is. Don't fight it. Surrender. If there are strong emotions coming up, allow yourself to feel them. Don't push them away because you make them bigger. Allow yourself to feel them. Now, don't be in the thoughts, right? Don't be in your thoughts of like, oh, this is so bad. Let go of thought. Be in the body. Be in the breath and just feel the emotion, allow it, just let it, just welcome it until it passes through, until it dissipates and it will. If you don't fight it with resistance, you don't add resistance to it, it will pass, right? So allow it, welcome it, just let it be there, let it be okay. Don't focus on the thought, just be in the body, be in the breath and let it pass. And when it does, Focus on something that gives you a bit of relief. What's something that makes you feel a little bit better? What's a better feeling thought, right? Just reaching for that neutral state, reaching for a bit of relief, a bit of relaxation. The more that you do this, you release any suppressed emotion. You're not adding resistance anymore because you're not pushing against how you're feeling or fighting it, right? So you're actually releasing all of that. You're actually deactivating that. And what you're doing is activating something else. You're not feeding into those negative thoughts anymore as much, right? You're not reacting as much. You're letting it be okay and letting it dissolve and you're choosing something else. So over time, uh, you're shifting your energy. You're actually raising your vibration. You'll start to notice that you're feeling better and better and lighter. Now, if there is any inspired action that you believe will help you, Follow the path of least resistance for you. Follow what you will be, you believe will work for you. Um, you know, if, if that's taking medication or if it's, you know, therapy or whatever, whatever is actually resonating for you, follow through on that guidance, right? Um, I didn't really take any action. Initially, years and years and years and years ago, um, I started seeing a psychologist Um and that was just the path of least resistance at that time. And I saw her only for a couple of months. Then I read the book, uh, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, which just gave me a massive mindset shift. And I was not depressed anymore. No anxiety was completely healed because the suffering is within the mind. The suffering is within the thought. And when I actually realized I don't have a problem here, then I didn't have a problem there, right? Um, and so, yeah, and then I stopped seeing my psychologist. I didn't need him anymore. But, um, when more previously, when I have had, uh, depression, I found it more difficult to get out of it, I guess, because I was trying to get out of it. Right. And I was used to being at a higher frequency. And so dipping down low feels really, really, really off. Right. It feels really, really bad especially if you've been in high, you know, high emotions, high alignment before and you go down, it feels way worse than if you were just usually at a neutral place. Now, the two things that are going to help you so, so, so much are movement and meditation. Okay. 
Both of these things help to regulate your nervous system, help to regulate your emotion, your emotions, your emotional state, to shift your energy and to bring you into the present moment, bring you out of thought and more into the present moment. And these two things saved me. Within uh, like two to three weeks, I was out of depression from just using my body first, using movement first. I didn't feel like it, but I would get up and I'd move my body and shake my body out or I would dance. I didn't feel like dancing, but I would dance. Um, even like jumping or running or swaying even, or even stretching certain stretches or yoga poses, but you moving your body starts to regulate your nervous system, starts to actually, it's a bottom up approach. You start to actually feel better, right? And then you can follow up with positive, you know, or better feeling thoughts and, you know, other actions or, or whatever. And the other thing that is crucial and I would, I would suggest that you start your morning by moving your body in some way to get, to get your energy moving. Okay. And the other thing was meditation. Okay. So I would do the worse I felt, the more meditation that I did because that, you know, knowing that the suffering is in my mind and knowing that meditation brings me into the present moment, brings me into alignment, brings me into my power. Even if I'm not having these spectacular, super great feeling meditations, I'm releasing resistance. Okay. I'm surrendering. And it was just a great way to get into the present moment, right? Same, even when you're moving your body, um, exercise, you can kind of bring you more into the present moment as well, where you're not focused on the thought, which is where the suffering is coming from. And so as you do this more and more, and you are consistently finding even slightly better feeling thoughts, you're deactivating all the negative stuff, which is not who you are. It was just kind of practiced. It was a result of the frequency you're on. So, you know, be the awareness behind the thoughts. Know that they are not you and know that they are not true. I know that whenever I'm having a bad day or a tough moment and I'm on a low frequency and I'm having these negative thoughts, I'm like, oh, I can't take any of this seriously. I can't trust these thoughts and I cannot take them seriously because they're not true. They're a result of the emotion that I'm in right now. But as I feel better, I think completely differently, right? It's, it, I'm a different person. I'm living a different reality. And if you can't do, like I would do long meditations and I would do one, one to three a day, depending on how bad I felt. And if you can't do really long meditations, then do five minute ones. Do a few five minute ones throughout your day just to bring yourself back into the present moment and just to surrender, just completely surrender. You're not trying to make anything happen or fix anything or change anything. There's nothing wrong or broken that's going on here. Like there's nothing broken within you. Nothing has gone wrong. We're, you just wanna raise your vibration. And then the other thing is just focusing on things that you're interested in. Things that you just, you know, you may not be feeling like, oh, I have a lot of passion or inspiration to flow into this project or whatever, but things that you just, interested in, that are just lighthearted, that you can give your attention to, that kind of subtly raise your vibration and dissolve anything else, right? Because when you're feeling good, you're not feeling bad. When you found that better feeling thought, as soon as you feel better, as soon as you feel any time, like any little bit of relief within you, you've just shifted your energy. You've just raised your vibration. So be patient and know that as you continue to make slightly better feeling choices in your thoughts and actions, that your vibration must raise consistently over time and the depression must fall away. If you're not consistently feeding the negative thoughts and subjects and feeding into the narratives and the stories and you're just letting the emotion come up and pass through and you're making a better feeling choice instead so you're creating a new pattern, your life must change, you must change, your brain must change, okay? So take it one day at a time, moment by moment. Do not beat up on yourself, you know? If you fall back into old patterns or you don't do it good enough, like you're doing perfectly well and you need to be kinder to yourself. That's 
I mean, that's the biggest piece here is you got to be nicer to you and you got to care more about how you feel and you're doing the best that you can. Just continue to reach for relief and you must go up and up and up. Okay, I hope this video has helped you. I made this video because I had a lot of people messaging me and commenting on, on how to, you know, heal and release depression. So these are the steps that helped me. Um, briefly describing them to you. And so let me know if it helped you in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to work with me, that information's in the description box below for you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.